This is one of our mnemonics. This is the mnemonic for pancreatitis, which is I get smashed. I G E T S M A S H E D for pancreatitis. First is I for idiopathic. Idiopathic is when a patient has pancreatitis but no other identifiable underlying cause can be identified. G stands for gallstones and gallstone pancreatitis is more common that we see in the elderly so if an elderly patient's coming in with pancreatitis one would be more inclined to suspect gallstones over alcohol. E is for ethanol or alcohol and overall gallstones and ethanol account for 80 percent of all cases of pancreatitis that we see. T stands for trauma so any blunt force trauma to the pancreas or the surrounding tissues can cause an acute inflammatory reaction. S for steroids and this can be both corticosteroids and sex hormone steroids that have been implicated to cause pancreatitis. M for mumps and M for malignancy. So regarding mumps, the mumps virus can cause pancreatitis as well as the cytomegalovirus and Coxsackie virus are all known to cause pancreatitis. And malignancy, pancreatic type malignancy, we all know has a very poor prognosis. A is for autoimmune, which tends to be a steroid responsive form of chronic pancreatitis. S for scorpion stings. H for hypercalcemia and hypertriglyceridemia. In order to have pancreatitis from hypertriglyceridemia, the triglyceride levels tend to need to be greater than a thousand. E for ERCP and post ERCP pancreatitis is thought to occur in about 15 percent of cases usually has a more delayed onset of uh, symptoms after the ERCP. Maybe after several hours the patient will start complaining of pancreatic-like pain. D for drugs. And those drugs that are known to cause pancreatitis tend to include corticosteroids, HIV medications, chemotherapeutic agents, thiazide diuretics. Examples of other drugs or classes of drugs that cause pancreatitis include azathropine, carbamazepine, cisplatin, didanosine, lamivudine, mercaptopurine, mesalamine, pentamidine, steroids, sulindac, tetracycline, and valproic acid. As we know about pancreatitis, it's essentially severe, painful inflammation of the pancreas where we see elevations, where we see elevations of both amylase and lipase enzymes. We know lipase is more specific for pancreatitis because amylase not only comes from the pancreas, but amylase also comes from salivary glands, the gut, the pancreas and the testicles. And in our cartoon here, we've drawn bottles of alcohol, the gallbladder shooting gallstones at the pancreas, the scorpion, and the pancreas himself is essentially auto-digesting himself.